Hello guys, today we are talking all about holistic organizing, what it is and how it is going to help you organize your life today. My name is Dana L'Oreal Morales. I'm the owner of The Happiness Bucket, where I educate you to organize your space, life, soul, and business. So let's just get right into this content. Understanding what holistic organizing is is gonna help you so much in your organizational journey. Many times when I'm working with clients, I find that you are trying to segment your life into all of these different buckets. Now, it is understood that you are one person, right? That wears many different hats. You have your work self, you have your personal self, you have your, your wife, your mother, you may go to church or be involved in some other organization, whatever the things are that you do in your life, those are different areas or as I like to say, buckets of your life. And a lot of times I find that women try to organize those separately. They try to keep all of their business stuff separated over here. And then they try to keep all of their personal family stuff separated over here and all their organizational stuff separated over here. Well, the problem with that is you are still one one person and you can only be one place at one time. And so it's important for you to set up a system so that you truly know where it is you're supposed to be, what it is you're supposed to be doing at any given time. I hear it all the time where people have double booked themselves. They've forgotten about one, um, expectation or one thing that the commitment that they've made and they double committed themselves and they didn't know which one should go first. Here's the deal. Keep one calendar and just have different categories within that calendar. I tend to color code my calendar so I know what is personal and what is business, right? Um, I know that, hey, I've got a full week at work, you know, this week. And so I don't want to commit to any personal things. I don't want to commit to any or anything for another organization. I don't want to commit to anything at church during this week because I already know I'm going to be swamped. I also will know to let my family know that it's a busy week, that, hey, this is a really crazy week for me. So I need your help in relieving some other stuff from me. It helps you better um, anticipate and plan for the things that are coming up in your week, in your day. Now, if you are married, here is a trick that I encourage you to incorporate into your life. Do you have a shared family calendar? That is important. And I am pro electronic calendars versus paper calendars. And there are a number of reasons why I will talk to, about those in a separate video. But do you have a family calendar? And again, assuming it's electronic, does your spouse know about this electronic calendar? Do the other family members who are able to act, are they able to access the calendar? Do they know about it? Can they add to it? Um, this is important for you to know and important for you to have. And the reason it is, is because you're planning stuff for your family. Well, your spouse may be planning stuff for your family or for himself where he is not gonna be available. Or your children may have some event at school that they're needing to have one of the adults take them to. If you don't know when all these fall and you're planning all of your stuff separately, it is inevitable that you are gonna double book yourself. It is inevitable that you are gonna forget about some things. So what I recommend you do is have one calendar and you just color code or put some type of coding system in place so that you know when something falls into a different category. Again, recommend the color coding, definitely. Or you can have separate calendars that layer into one is also a possibility. But I prefer to just have one calendar and make it easy, okay? so. If you have questions about this process, definitely comment below and let me know. Let's have that conversation. If you are interested in knowing when I post additional content, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. And in the meantime, I want you to definitely stay happy and stay organized.